what's up y'all it's your boy chance i'm back with another live stream today i know this is like the first live stream i've done like all day um i just a little bit ago we got done kicking it with a buddy of mine pnw who's um he's in the military and he's actually getting ready to be deployed soon so i was kicking it on live got me with him for a bit before he leaves out for his before he heads out to base tomorrow and then from there he gets sent over wherever they send him but uh i wanted to talk to you guys about something i think this is something i've kind of brought up here and there in the past but this is something that's just, it's really been bugging Like, and I, when I mean bugging me, I mean it has been just eating at me, eating at me, and it's the fact that I cannot play any kind of sports. I mean, I have the athleticism, I have that. And so that's not the issue at all. It's actually the fact of my age and the lack of money and you know and it it sucks um if you guys don't know i grew up playing baseball my entire life like that's what i grew up doing I mean, yes, I'm very good with racing style gaming. Yeah, I should be competing on a pro level. I should be doing that professionally. But due to everything going on on YouTube, I can't. But the one thing, and this is the one thing that really pisses me off above all else, is the fact that I cannot play sports like I need to be doing. Because even in high school, I was thrown at an average of 60 miles an hour, sometimes more. And every day, like, even now, my coach even asks, like, bro, why are you not playing for a team? It's not because I lack the physical aspect. I can do the physical parts. Hold on one minute, guys. I'll be right back, and I'll explain everything. I got to let the dog in. Sorry about that, y'all. If y'all didn't hear that, that was my dog running up the stairs. But, like I was saying, I don't lack the physical side of it. Like, I can do the physical stuff easily. I've proven it many a times before. What I lack is the money and the fact that they say that I am too old to play when I'm only 27. I'm about to be 28 here in a couple weeks. That's it. I'm only 28. How am I too old to play? And definite shout out to Arachnid. What's up, man? But, um, if you guys don't know, like, and I'll be straight up honest with you, if it came down to a one million dollar contract signed to a record label or a fifteen million dollar contract to play baseball for the rest of my life on a pro level I'd walk away from music right now like I would walk away from it all I would throw music out the window and I would do sports I would take that contract with the baseball team and play I hate the fact that I have to do music I hate it. It's not that I don't enjoy doing it, but 
I mean, don't get me wrong. I do enjoy doing music. I really do. I enjoy that a whole lot. But doing sports is what I love. That's what I grew up doing. And it kills me that I have to sit in. I have to sit on the sidelines and let my talents go to waste. My true talents, not the talents that I gained over time. The talents I was born with. But yet, I have to be stuck here on the side, not being able to play. Why? I don't get it. I'm sorry, but if you can run, pitch, hit, or catch, then you can fucking play. And that's how it should be. Like, that's how it should be. And honestly, like, I've had a lot of people telling me I need to get into camps. I need to be doing it. And I, I want to go into baseball camp. I want to. Believe me, I want to play again. More than anything, I want to be able to play again. Y'all don't know how bad I want to get behind that glove, behind that ball, and behind that bat again and just play again. But I can't. Because of my fucking age and the fact that I have no money whatsoever to afford camps. Because they make them way too expensive. And it kills me. Because I want to tell you something. When I was out at the lake a few weeks back and I got the pictures of that baseball field in that black and white and Sophia style. Like, you guys don't know how emotional that was for me. Just being out on the field again. Like, I wanted to play so bad, but I couldn't. Like, you don't know how bad I wanted to grab my glove, grab my baseball, run out to the field, and just start fucking pitching at the fences. Just to play again. Like, all my teachers growing up, through when I was a kid, through high school, even after high school, I still get teachers telling me that I need to be playing for whether it's minor league or major league, I need to be playing, but I can't because I can't afford it. I can't afford the camps that they're wanting me to go to. I can't play because of my age because they want them while they're super young, like 18 and up, like from 18 to 21. And it's stupid. I'm only 28 and I can, I can literally do everything still. I don't give a fuck if I have a fucked up ankle. I can make do with wraps. I can make do with ankle braces. I don't give a fuck. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong. I mean, music and everything is very important to me. Don't get me wrong. That will always be important to me. But what's more important to me than anything else is being able to play again. And I want to play. But Akron does not have any minor league baseball teams that are looking for, you know, new guys to play. And it, it's sad. Because I can easily pitch 60 miles an hour, maybe even more, depending on, you know, how hard you want me to fucking throw. Like, you want me to take your hand off? Okay. Give me a baseball, I'll fucking take your hand off. Like, I can play. That's not a problem. I have no issues playing whatsoever. None. Like, I can run. I can slide. I can pitch. I can hit. I can catch. I can do all that. 
because baseball is what I grew up playing. That's what I know above all else. And it kills me. Like, y'all don't know how many times I have sat here and cried my eyes out wanting to play again so bad. But I can't because no team will take me because of my age and I can't afford the camps. And it kills me. Like playing baseball is the one thing that I do way better than anything on earth. I hate being inside. I am not an inside person. I am an outdoors sports kind of person. Always have been. The only reason why I'm stuck inside doing music is because I literally have no choice. There is legitimately nothing whatsoever to do around here. Akron is a fucking hellhole. Like, I want to play so bad. Like, y'all don't even know, like, how bad I want to play. Like, there are times where I'll be sitting here and, like, I'll just be flipping through the channels or watching whatever, and I just, I break down in tears because I want to play so badly. But I can't, and it kills me. Y'all don't know just how bad I want to get behind the glove again and get back on base. Like, I want to play again so bad more than anything, but I can't. And it's not fair to me at all. Like, even though I didn't graduate high school because I was fucked out of my diploma, because my teachers said that I didn't have enough credits when I did, and they basically fucked me and cheated me out of my high school diploma, and I left because of that, that shouldn't matter. My high school career should not affect me playing sports. Like, you have a lot of kids like myself that are damn good at what they do. And I mean damn good at what they do. And yet, they get pushed to the side. All because they didn't graduate with a fucking 4.0 GPA and a high school diploma. I'm sorry I didn't graduate with a high school diploma, but you know what? I guarantee you, you gave me a chance, I could play just as good as any motherfucking player you got on the team. If you don't blame me, fucking try me out and I'll show you what I can do. I'll show you that I can run. I'll show you that I can pitch and that I can play. What up, Christina? And I do apologize. What's up to everybody watching? But... You know, it kills me not being able to play again. It really does. Like, I want to play professionally, whether it's in minor league or major league. I don't care. I'm happy with I'll, I would be more than happy to play minor league. I would be beyond happy. You know, as long as I can make a living doing what I love to do as a baseball player, I'd be totally happy. I would be so happy, even just playing minor league during the seasons, I would not care. As long as I can play again, that's all I care about. But the fucked up thing is, no team is willing to give me a fair chance. And I've tried. I've gone, I've approached the teams around here, but none of them want me because of my age. And it's sad, because I have more talent with baseball than I do with anything else. Because playing baseball is what I grew up doing. Playing baseball is what I know best.
you know, and it kills me. Like, you guys don't even understand, like, just how many times I've lied awake at night. I've lied awake at night so many times, just bawling my eyes out, wanting to play again. Wanting to get back behind the bat, wanting to get back behind the glove and just play again. More than anything. But no team will take me. Because of my age. And it's, it's fucked up. Like, why should my age affect me playing? If I can pitch and I can hit and I can throw and I can run. Then why shouldn't I be allowed to play? I don't understand. Cause you know, playing baseball is what I grew up doing. It's what I've done my entire life. Hey Kayla, what's up? What's up, Corey? What's up to, to everybody there? And guys, I would add people as guests, but for some reason it's not working for me today. Um, I had a friend that I was doing a live stream with, or trying to do a live stream with, and it wouldn't let me add them. So I will not be able to have anybody as a guest this round. I don't know how long it's going to last. I don't know. I don't know if it's because I'm in Facebook jail again for that. I don't know. But, you know, as soon as I can add guests again, I will definitely do so. But the point is, you know, I want to play again so damn bad. You know, the one thing I do every morning, and a lot, not a lot of people know this, but the one thing I do every morning when I first wake up, before I even start my day, I grab my shoes, I grab my glove, and I grab, I grab my baseball, and I go out behind the garage, and I fucking pitch at the back of the garage, just practicing as hard as I can, just throwing and throwing and throwing. Because I know that, like, it, I know that I can play if somebody would give me the chance. And it kills me, because there's a lot of teams around here in Akron, and I've talked to every single one of them, but none of them will take me because of my age, and that's not fair to me at all. I'm sorry I'm poor. I'm sorry that I'm broke and don't have any fucking money. I'm sorry that I can't afford the cans, but you know what? Maybe if you would be willing to fucking help out, maybe I could do it. And that's the sad thing. A lot of these people, a lot of these coaches, they don't want to help out. Even after I explain everything, they're still not willing to, you know, step up and say, hey, you know, you've got talent. I see that in you. I want to help you pay for your camps. None of them do that. They all expect me, even though I don't have any money, and they know it, they still expect me to pay for camps. Knowing I can't afford it, and it, it pisses me off. It really does. Because like I said, playing baseball is the one thing that I do better than anything. And I mean anything else. Yeah, I'm good with art. Yeah, I'm good with racing. Yeah, I'm good with music. But baseball is the one place where... Like... Like, you guys don't get it. 
when I'm sitting there and I'm pitching that ball as hard as I can, like, it's like I forget about everything else. You know, I do forget about everything else. And, you know, I know a lot of people sit there and say, well, why do you focus on things that you can't do? Because the things that I can't do are the things that I need to do. The things that I can't do are the things that I want and actually do need to do. But nobody's willing to give me a chance to do any of those things. Nobody. Every day I get asked, why am I not doing this? Why am I not doing that? There's very real reasons as to why I'm not doing those things. And 99.9% .9 of the time, a lot of those things and the reasons why I can't do them are not my fault at all whatsoever. And yet, I still get blamed saying, hey, you can still do it. You can still do it. I uh, know I can't. I can't go out and race on a pro level. I don't have a license. I don't have a car. And I don't have money for any of that. And I can't do any of that because of my living situation here at home. I can't go out and play baseball like I want to on a, on a minor league or major league level. Because nobody's willing to fucking help me. As far as the coaches and stuff go. And it kills me. You guys don't know how bad I want to walk away from the music scene and play baseball, which is what I'm truly, truly good at. I want to walk away from music, but I can't. Music is literally the only thing I can do at this point. That's really the only thing I can do that doesn't cost any fucking money. That's literally the only thing I can do. Like, you guys don't understand how bad I want to leave the music scene behind. I want to quit so bad. But I can't. I have no choice but to do music. I didn't ask for this lifestyle. I didn't ask to become a music artist. It, just, it happened. Literally, it just happened over time. But doing music is not what I'm meant to do. Playing baseball is what I'm meant to do, but I can't do that. Because no team fucking wants me because of my age. Even though they all know that I am more than good enough and they know that I am more than capable to do everything I need to. And, have, and then the other half that doesn't care about all that, they won't take me because I don't have a high school diploma. Like, what does high school have to do with me playing sports? There's nothing in high school that has to do with playing sports. And I mean nothing. I mean, other than a little math here and there, but that's it. And I'm sorry, but your high school career should not determine whether you play sports in the future or not. That should not dictate that. What should dictate that is your talent, your ability to do whatever sport you want to do. Whether it's baseball, hockey, golf, bowling. No matter what sport you want to play. Your high school career should not factor into that. Your high school career is your high school career. That's done. That's over. Move on from that. Stop focusing on high school career shit and focus on the talent. Because half your fucking talent, none of them graduated high school. Half your, half your talent that is good enough, none of them graduated. But yet you guys sit there and throw them to the side.
It's like since when did playing sports have anything to do with your high school career? Since when do grades have anything to do with sports? I don't get it. Like just because I'm not smart enough to graduate high school and high school wasn't meant for me, that doesn't mean I don't have what it takes to play baseball. That doesn't mean I don't have the talent or the skill to play. I have more than enough talent. I have way more than enough skill. But yeah, here I am every fucking day in the studio recording my ass off just because that's the only thing I am able to do. That's the only reason why I'm even doing music anymore is because I literally have no choice but to do it. Because that's the only thing I can do around here that doesn't require any fucking money. And even then I'm not making very much. I only make a couple of cents off of a fucking live stream, off of a fucking stream from Spotify from an old ass album I released back in June and that's it. I've only got like a dollar and something. Is right about I'll actually pull it up for you guys and sh and tell you guys how much I have. Right now, I currently only have a dollar and thirteen cents. That's it. A dollar and thirteen cents. That's it. And I released that Blackout album way back in June. And I can't take that money out until I get ten dollars. Which is unfair. Like, a lot of you guys don't understand just how stressful this music life really is for me. I never asked for this life. Like, it, just, it literally got, you know, like, it, it kind of happened. I never wanted to be a music artist. My entire life growing up, all I ever wanted to do was play baseball. That's all I ever wanted to do with my life. I had teachers, friends, family, everybody telling me that I need to do it, that I need to do it. Even through my high school career, I was told that I need to play. I even played for my high school team, which got shut down because they deemed, they literally deemed the football and basketball team more important than our baseball team. When our baseball team could have gone to state, even regionals and nationals, if they would have given it a chance. But instead, it only lasted like a week. And within that week, I showed my coach, who is actually still a very good friend of mine, that I can play. And he asked me, even nowadays, why I'm not playing. And it's because no team wants me because of my age, which is stupid. What up, Mallory? And like I said, guys, I know I'm good with music. I get that, and I thank you guys for that. I thank you guys for noticing that, but like I said, you know, I never, ever, I never asked to be a music artist. I never asked for this. I didn't want this life. I wanted the life of a baseball player. I wanted the life of doing sports. Something that I actually hold near and dear to me that I'm actually very good at doing. Something that I actually enjoy doing every day. I enjoy the hard work of baseball. I enjoy doing the hard work of that. The training, the practicing, I enjoy all of that. 
But what I don't enjoy is being in the light, in the light of a rock star. What I don't enjoy is being compared to other artists and being bullied because of my music, because of what I do. I never asked for this lifestyle. It just happened. Like I said, if I had to choose between doing baseball for the rest of my life and doing music for the rest of my life, I'd say fuck you to music. I would leave it and I would go do baseball if I had that choice. I really would. Because that's what I'm best at more than anything else. Above all else, above racing, above music, above art, above all of that. Music is the one thing that I never asked for. Baseball is the one thing that I asked to do. Like, you guys don't understand how badly I want to play again. I want to play so bad, but I can't. Like, and a lot of people don't understand that. Yeah, I know I might seem calm and collected when it comes to my music, but the truth is, I'm not. I'm really not. There are times where I get bullied so bad and I mean so bad, not only through my music, but through my artwork, to the point to where I want to quit. And that bullying is what's preventing me from making money. I want to be able to do something where I make very real money. But I can't because of all these mainstream motherfuckers deem me not worthy. They make it hard for me to make money because I fight back against what they want me to do because I will not follow what they want me to be. I will not be another sheep. I will not follow the drug life like they want me to. That's not me. This whole music life, this ain't me. This isn't, this is not what I ever asked to do with my life. I never wanted to be this. Growing up, I always wanted to do baseball. Always. Even from the time I was a little kid, all throughout my high school career, that's all I would talk about doing. That's all I wanted to do, ever. The only reason why I chose this music life is because I had no other choice but to do this. It was either do music or possibly lose my life to the streets. Because that's how Akron is. They don't give a fuck about sports. Well, I mean, they do, but the only sports they care about are baseball, or not baseball, but football, and other dumb shit like that. That's it. They don't care about baseball. They don't care about those that do have talent. So like I said, really, I had no choice but to do music. I had no choice. It was either do music and try to make some kind of money and some kind of income or lose my life to the streets and go to jail or possibly die. I had no choice. Because let me tell you something, music actually, it saved my ass from going back to jail. And that's the only reason why I stuck with it is because it kept me from going back to jail. Like I said, I know I'm good at music. 
I get that. But you guys need to understand where I'm coming from. As I said, I never asked for the music lifestyle. I never asked for the life of a rock star. I not once asked for that. It was brought upon me and it just, it kind of happened. It happened because I had no choice. And I hate it. I hate do I hate doing music, but I have no choice but to. Like I said, I never asked to be a music artist. I never asked for that life. What I asked for is to be able to play sports like I need to be doing. Whether it's professional racing or professional baseball. I don't care which. Either one I am okay with. But music is not bringing me any money financially. At all. I am not making a goddamn dime. Except for the few cents that I make off of a fucking stream on Spotify. That's it. That's the only money I make. So literally all I have in my name. Is a dollar and 13 cents. Plus the 14 dollars. Off of Ray John for custom shirts. Which I need 50 to be able to cash out on there. And then a couple quarters in a fucking coffee can. That's all I've got. That's it. You know, you guys don't see what goes on. Like, you guys sit there and tell me, don't quit, don't quit, don't quit. But what you don't see... Is what goes on behind what you guys see. You guys don't know what goes on behind the music. You guys don't understand. How much energy it takes just nowadays especially. How much it takes just for me to get out to even record one song. I don't have that inspiration anymore. I lost that a long time ago. Like, you guys don't know the hate, the bullying, the threats, everything. You guys don't see that side of it. All you see is the hard work in the studio and then the finished product. That's all you see. You don't see the bullying and the hate that I get outside of that. And between them and these record companies always doing everything they can to stop me, I'm not making any money. I can't do shows. No venue around here want, fucking wants to book me. And when they do, I always get fucked over. Every time. That show that I was supposed to play in June, I never got to play that show. The fucking asshole that runs the club decided, oh, I'm going to fuck with his, you know, his performance schedule, his schedule. I'm not going to allow him, to, I'm going to change the date so that he gets pissed off. And he changed it two or three times. So basically, I am screwed for doing anything. And y'all wonder why? You guys sit there and you wonder, and you wonder why I'm always in a bad mood. There's a fucking reason. Because everything I try to do that I'm good at, I'm always getting fucked out of. Everything I need to make money that I'm good at enough to be making money from, I get screwed out of one way or another. I'm tired of being everyone's punching bag. I'm tired of being fucking used. I'm tired of being fucked over 
by every motherfucker in the world that thinks they can take from me. I'm tired of being taken advantage of. I'm tired of being lied to. And that's all the music industry has done these last 10 years is fucking lie to my face. That's all they've done. Like I said, all you guys see is the work that I do in the studio and then the finished product afterwards. It's all you guys see. You don't see the hatred, the bullying, the rejection that I get. You guys don't see that. You guys don't deal with that. I deal with that shit every fucking day in my life. And you guys wonder why I want to walk away from the music industry entirely? Why I want to quit? Maybe if you understood just how bad it can get for me. And just what I'm being told by every motherfucking record label in the fucking world. And how much hate I get every day, not only on here, but throughout YouTube and all social media. Maybe then you guys would understand why I want to walk away and quit. This music shit ain't making me no money at all. Like I said, the only money I get is what few cents I get from people... You know, streaming my stuff on Spotify, and that's it. That's all I get, just a few cents. Like, I've tried selling merchandise. I've tried doing all that. I've tried playing shows. I'm sorry I don't have money to invest in myself. I want to invest in myself and do this, but how can I when I don't have any money? It's not my fault that I can't work a regular job. And even if I could, I wouldn't be allowed to because I'm half blind. I've been half blind for damn near two and a half years. Not to mention my mom can't hardly fucking walk because she was hit by a car a couple years ago. You guys really don't understand the rejection I face, even with all this hard work. And another thing I face too is people lying to me. Everybody fucking lying to me saying, oh, you know, like, I'll buy your music, just send me the link. And then I send it to them, and then what do they do? They don't even buy it. They wait a couple weeks, and then turn around and buy something else. Straight up. That's all they fucking do. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of being lied to. I'm tired of being taken advantage of. Like I said, I know I'm good with music. Good God, I created a whole new genre not that long ago. I fathered a whole new genre within the dubstep world. And yet, what do I get? Shit on. Rejected. Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody cares about someone like me who actually has talent. Like, you guys really don't understand that all these reasons that I'm listing 
because of these fucking idiots. This is exactly why I want to walk away from the music industry. All the harassment, the bullying, the judgmental bullshit, the not making any money, not making a solid income from my music. It's exactly why I want to walk away. Because it's not making me any money. And I'm constantly facing people screwing with me so bad. Like, it, at times, it gets very, very bad that I question why I'm even on social media. It gets that bad. But yet, nobody cares. You guys, you guys just don't understand the challenges that I face daily from shit like this. I face a lot more than you guys realize. So let me tell you something. I've been doing music since 2010. And let me tell you something. Time after time after time, even now, I've gotten told that I'll never make it. And yet, I refuse to listen. Like, you guys just, you don't get it. You don't see the rejection that I face. The pain that I go through from all this. Like, it kills me having to do all this. I never asked for any of this, man. I never asked to be a rock star. I don't want to be a rock star. I want to be me again. You know, I want to be able to play sports again like I need to be doing. I want to be able to make a living doing something that I love. That's all I want, is to make a living doing something that I'm actually very good at. That's all I ask for. Like, is that, is that too much to ask for? If so, I'm sorry. Well, that being said, guys, I hope you guys have a better understanding of why I want to walk away from it all. And why I want to leave so bad, but I can't.